Uh, hey, hey, it's Alan Simon from Nobby Key Realty. A uh, little circle was spinning there, so I was already talking. But uh, name's Alan Simonton, um, and uh, I am a realtor and director of Knob and Key Realty here in the DFW Metroplex. Uh, my wife, Michelle, is broker, owner, CEO, realtor. Um, uh, in fact, she's helped me prepare uh, notes today, or all of the notes. Thanks, Michelle uh, and team. Uh, but yeah, just uh, wanted to introduce myself, and let's talk a little bit about the spring selling season uh, and what that means for us. But first, I wanted to ask you guys uh, if you could please just comment. Uh, I want to know what, what is one of the most uh, or what is the proudest thing recently that you've done uh, in your business or with your family or in your spiritual life? Um, uh, I know one of the things that I'm most proud of is taking a road trip. Spring break, spring break last week. Yeah, that's right. Spring break is now over. Um, but uh, Went to Colorado City or uh, Colorado Springs and then old Colorado City and I bought my first Stetson. Yeah, I know it's not like a cowboy hat, but I'm not much of a, you know, I'm more of a city cowboy, if that's a thing. Uh, anyway, so uh, we're back from spring break and um, <clears throat> would also love to know where you guys went. Saw a lot of Texans in Colorado, but I think that's kind of normal. Um, did some hiking up there, got plans eventually to hike all of Pikes Peak. It's about 14 miles. Um, yeah, so what do you think? I like it. Um, yeah, been looking for a good hat for a while. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> so the end of spring break is the unofficial beginning of the spring uh, real estate selling season. Um, we start to see inventory increase as sellers you know, get ready to make their uh, moves uh, in conjunction with end of school, uh, wanting to get their kids into the best schools. Um, and, you know, that uh, uh, helps in a lot of ways with buyers and sellers to be prepared. OK, so let's talk about what that looks like uh, in this season right now, March 2021. It's the 24th, right? 25th, 25th, uh, March 2021. Uh, with such low inventory, 2021 continues to be a seller's market. Um, if you are considering selling your home, um, this is definitely a great time. I'm, I'm just processing the thoughts of how much success we've had recently. Uh, with selling homes um, and and also experiencing something again that I call buyers fatigue with buyers that are struggling to get their um, offers submitted accepted um, because inventory is short, short but we we have a great plan and system for you um, uh, our team uh, so <clears throat> since it's so low inventory uh, this is definitely a great time to sell put your home on the market um, it's uh, Inventory is down 25% compared to last year. So there are even less homes on the market available. So that means that you know you could probably uh, do well to sell your home right now. Now I know what that means that you, you need to buy one as well. So uh, we definitely have plans uh, for that. Um, you know, it still continues to be a seller's market, uh, if you will. Um, if you're considering selling. Uh, listen, I would I would uh, uh, definitely encourage you to. So with so few homes available to buy, your house will be more likely to rise uh, to the uh, top of an eager purchaser's uh, wish list in this competitive market. Uh, today's high buyer anxiety, yeah, that fatigue, that anxiety is creating upward pressure on home prices and more multiple offer scenarios, which is my fave. Um, a really, uh, it's a, it's a good place to be in multiple offers for a seller. Um, and so it's just creating pressure on those, those home prices. Uh, and, and according to Realtors Confidence Index Survey from NAR, uh, National Association of Realtors, um, check member, uh, the average home for sale is receiving 3.7 offers up from 2.3 offers uh, just one year ago. 
This makes selling even more enticing. Um, because your prices are going up so much, uh, you can use the additional equity in your home for your down payment, uh, taking further advantage of the historically low interest rates to purchase the next home. Uh, not sure uh, now is even the right time. Maybe you're, you're just like, this is great info, but this isn't really the right time. Uh, give us the call to see uh, what your what your home is worth on the market right now. That that doesn't have to be in person. We can we can meet in person, but that can be a phone call and an email. Um, we can make it uh, you know as, as uh, safe and and COVID friendly, uh, mask no mask, whatever you'd like. Uh, we're available for that. Um, so even if you've only uh, been in your home a short uh, time, your your value may have gone up exponentially. Um, if not to a level that's going to allow you to, you know, actually get some proceeds from the home. Uh, example is that we have um, clients who purchased about eight months ago uh, and they're being relocate, relocated uh, and their value has gone up about $50,000. Yeah, 50K. Can you believe that? Uh, in that short time. That's that's a big number. On the flip side, buyers, you need to you, know, you need an experienced agent in this market for sure. Uh, an agent with solid negotiation skills. That's right, uh, and knowledge of neighborhoods and pricing uh, to help make uh, help you make a solid financial decision. Um, you know, something we really focus on is is we know about budgets and we know about buying and selling houses personally, Michelle and I, and uh, um, you know. Even if it's not right now, we still want to make sure that we're available to serve you and, and put you in the right path and right direction um, on either side of the buying and selling process or, or, or getting to that, right? Um, yeah, so um, rates are at an all-time low, right? Uh, and taking advantage of them can save you thousands over the life of your mortgage. Uh, a skilled agent will help you take advantage of that. Uh, be prepared to put your best foot forward uh, and let your agent guide you. I love being a guide. Um, we're working every day to empower people, uh, and we want to come alongside you. Um, it's not about us doing it all for you. We want you to be a part of it and and have feedback and um, know that, that you're being taken care of and that we have your best interest in mind is key. Come on. Um, so... With negotiation skills, knowledge of neighborhoods, pricing, um, all of those things, you know, lenders, all of those help to make a better financial decision for you. And that's something that we help manage and navigate um, hundreds of people, over, over a thousand families, Michelle and I. Um, so be prepared to, to do that. Uh, you want to make sure you got your taxes and stuff in order, uh, but we, we have a great uh, lender that we can also refer to you um, to uh, get you in the right path. All right, so here we go. Homeowners who didn't sell last year. In 2020, check this out, 2020, many settlers decided to pursue their moving plans for a number of different reasons, from health concerns about the pandemic to financial uncertainty. Plenty of homeowners decided not to move last year. Now that vaccines are being distributed and there's a light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel, it should bring some peace of mind uh, to many potential sellers. Um, yeah, so that was a great little quote from the chief economist at realtor.com. There you go. Um, fortunately uh, for would-be home buyers, this is a quote. Fortunately uh, for home would-be home buyers, we expect sellers to return to the market as we see improvement in the economy uh, and progress uh, against the coronavirus. So many of the homeowners uh, who decided not to sell in 2020 uh, will enter the market later this year as they begin to feel more comfortable. So get prepared, guys. Uh, agents uh, uh, and clients out there, buyers, sellers looking out there, it's going to be, uh, things are going to start happening. Um, so new construction in response to last year's demand, builders have stepped up, up. Uh, their build plans, and uh, you can expect to see more specs being built. So what are specs? Those are just homes that the builder is building um, that 
they're going to put their colors and designs and things like that in, and you'll still be able to purchase that as a new construction home. Um, that's that's a, a, a great option. In fact, I even have a home in uh, the client that's lived in the home for less than a year that's being relocated. Uh, saw that number increase. Um, it is not even a year old. So it's a brand new home uh, that we're selling in Midlothian. Uh, went live today. All right, live today. Great home. Uh, it's in that 330, 340 range um, in Midlothian and uh, Horizon Estate, 6018 Allison in Midlothian, 6018 Allison, A-L-L-I-S-O-N. Check it out. Uh, I'd love for you also to just kind of go and uh, take a look, even if you're not moving into the area, just to give us a little uh, uh, you know, thumbs up to see if you like it, um, uh, to see if you're looking for something like that in the area. We've got it. Um, so <clears throat> sellers who have experienced financial distress uh, or job loss as a result of COVID, while well, current demand will help these sellers avoid um, any foreclosures, we do expect an influx of sellers who need to sell or downsize their mortgage as a result of the pandemic. Um, many layers that could be unpacked there. Um, that's why I encourage you to reach out to us here, um, uh, you know, post a comment or reach out to us through um, our messenger on Facebook here. Uh, these are all our great opportunities for buyers to get into a home and take advantage of the low interest rates. Again, as multiple offers will continue to be an issue, you need an agent who can help you navigate. Uh, contact me to put a strategy together that will get you uh, into your next home. I know you think it can't be done, but... Uh, uh, you know, everything is impossible until it's done, right? Um, I think Yoda said that. Maybe. Um, so uh, it's going to be exciting season. I am pumped. Um, I met with and called with families uh, so many, so many already in 2021. Um, at the end of last year as well. So uh, I, I love what's happening right now and in, in, in the powerful. Uh, impact that we're getting to have on communities. Um, so I told you about my listing coming up. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful weekend, so check this out. We have an event, uh, so you can check out on our website under knobandkeyandventure.org. We're uh, raising money, and but we're going to have this cool event. Last weekend was finally the hike at Cedar Ridge Preserve. This week is at the Oso Climbing Gym in um, uh, the Design District in Dallas. Uh, we're, they're, they're partnering with us. They're letting us come in. We've got some discounts. We've got uh, access. Uh, but I believe that's from 10 to 12 on Saturday. Um, and we're going to ma make sure and, uh, you know, raise some money for people that are, um, you know, in tough places that are, that are going through some tough things in, uh, across the world. Um, also, I uh, just wanted to, uh, check in, let you know we're hiring. We're always looking to uh, grow and increase capacity here at Knob and & Key. And if you're looking uh, to jump into the real estate game or uh, you, you like what we've been offering and showing and teaching and telling uh, and you're currently um, uh, have your license, uh, I'd love to just talk with you about what, what you love about what you do and where you work. That is uh, always something uh, that I'm looking to grow. I like to share, you know, why I love Knob and Key and being a part of, uh, you know, a, a company and a business that empowers people to live well while building, uh, you know, positive communities that um, are built on service. So we want to make an impact. We want to uh, serve the community well, uh, and whether that's buying, selling homes, or climbing up walls. We're going to do it. We're going to do what God's called us to do. Uh, so if you're a part uh, of our venture team, I would love for you, uh, Venture South, all of you guys, uh, have a great weekend. Get some miles in. Go hike, bike, run. Uh, you can come to our climbing gym. They've also got a gym there as well. So there's plenty of opportunities to get some miles in. Plus, you'll be in Dallas. It's going to be awesome. Uh, if not, you can still join us um, uh, on the next event, which is coming up. We'll have uh, more news on that uh, soon. Uh, and let's see. Yeah, I guess that's it. So uh, 
Uh, I'm going to see if anybody has commented here. Well, Michelle said I was super cute. So I'll take that. Thanks, Michelle. It's also my wife. Um, all right. Well, uh, I wanted to make it a short one today, uh, give you some keys uh, uh, to success in the real estate market today. Uh, again, uh, we're never too busy for your referrals. If you use somebody you know, your family, friends, neighbors, your, the community that you're in, and you are uh, – know anyone who wants to buy or sell a home or uh, step their foot into uh, or grow and learn how to create a successful real estate business, send them our way. Uh, if you want to text me or Michelle or reach out here on Facebook if you if you don't know us, uh, man, I'd love that. I love meeting new people and, and, and we're here to serve. So we love you uh, and we'll see you next month. All right. Bye, guys.